I'm Libby Waxman, and welcome back to GCTV. Makeup pictures will be on February 26th. Yearbooks are now on sale. See Ms. O'Neill in room 4 for more information. February 23rd will be a distance learning day for freshmen and seniors. Sophomores and juniors will be testing. Senior Rayleigh Langston has been announced as the class of 2021's star student. Star student is awarded to the senior with the highest ACT score. Langston has a 32 composite score and a 34 super score. After years of focusing on her academic career, Langston is thrilled to earn this award. I'm so excited to receive this honor and very glad that all of my hard work has paid off. I would like to thank all of my family members and all of the teachers that I've ever had for encouraging me and supporting me. Langston would especially like to thank history teacher Murray Cowart, who she has chosen as her star teacher. I chose him because I've had him five times throughout my high school career and I feel like he has prepared me for my collegiate journey. After graduating, Langston plans to attend Mississippi State University as a member of the Shackles Honors College. She hopes to earn a degree in accounting. Congratulations, Rayleigh, and good luck in all of your future endeavors. Now let's go to Chandler to see what Miss Long's computer science class is up to. What do computers and rubber ducks have in common? You would think absolutely nothing, but computer science teacher Stephanie Long recently showed her students how a rubber duck can help with their debugging skills. Debugging is the process of finding errors in your computer code and fixing them. The rubber ducks are used to help students find these errors and to help them deal with any stress they may feel over incorrect code. According to Long, the project is teaching students to be self-reliant and helps them learn to fix code problems on their own. This entire lesson is teaching students that in computer science, you're not going to be perfect and that there is a method to solve your problem and that you can do it on your own. You don't have to be told how to fix it and that the more you work with problems and the more you find bugs, the better you're going to get at actually writing code. Long students are looking forward to bettering their code skills by using rubber ducks. Now back to Olivia. Now let's go to Alyssa for Rebel Rundown. Thanks, Olivia, and welcome back to Rebel Rundown. Wednesday, February 3rd was National Signing Day. We had seven football and soccer players signed from George County High School. Senior Kara Wager and Lexi Green signed with East Central Community College to play soccer. Kara Wager was a varsity starter for three years, while Lexi was a starter for four. Senior Brianna Stansbury signed with Pearl River Community College and has also been invited to play in the Coast All-Star Soccer Game. From the boys' soccer team, starter Angel Diaz signed to Meridian Junior College. The football team had three players signed, Blaine Morris, Derek Howell, and Malik Knight. Linebacker Blaine Morris signed to William Penn University in Iowa and played in the Tiki Bowl earlier this year in Florida. Center Derek Howell signed with Pearl River Community College. Malik Knight also decided to sign with Pearl River Community College where he will be playing safety. We had three other athletes who have already signed or will be signing at a later date. MJ Daniels who signed last semester with Old Miss to play football and Haley Williams, who will play softball from Meridian Community College. Ladner Davis is currently enrolled at Pearl River Community College and will sign to play football in the fall. After the signs were over, we caught up with Kara Wager and football player Malik Knight to see how they felt. I'm excited. I'm so ready to go. It's a big accomplishment. Everybody doesn't get to sign and play at the next level. Congratulations to all of our athletes. Thanks, Alyssa. Now here's Jada to introduce our new district resource officer. The high school welcomes Chris Brown as he takes on the job as a new district resource officer. Brown has worked for six years in law enforcement. Before, he previously worked at Mobile County and recently at George County Sheriff's Office. Quite a few things made Brown interested when he heard about the opening for district resource officer. He really thought it was a great opportunity, especially since he really enjoys helping and working with the youth. Knowing that the youth will be the future of society, he wants to be the person that helps them teach right from wrong and no respect. On February 1st, Brown started by getting to know the school campuses along with the other seven schools as Chief Hillman showed him around. During these two weeks, Brown will start to pinpoint his duties around the schools. As of now, he knows he will be doing traffic, monitoring football games, and handling criminal issues. After getting to know the schools a little bit, Brown will soon meet with Chief Hillman and administration to discuss the issues happening around campuses. Now let's pass it to Alyssa for the poll of the week. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, we caught up with some students to hear about their best and worst Valentine's Day gifts. Worst gift I ever got for Valentine's Day, I got my heart broken. Um, the best Valentine's gift I ever got was my daughter, Casey, was born on Valentine's Day. So, happy birthday, Casey. Love you. Being single. 
The best gift I got anybody for Valentine's Day was my mom, a $2,500 necklace. Instead of my boyfriend wanting to spend time with me on Valentine's Day, he went to Hooters and spent time with the waitresses there. On Valentine's Day is when my husband and I got married, so that's the absolute very best gift I've ever gotten is our anniversary. That's all we have for this week. Have a happy Valentine's Day, and we'll see you next time on GCTV.